Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use a UI picker view with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we want to accomplish in this tutorial. We have three items and they're just going to be stored up in our picker view object. And then we can scroll over to this is Jared and then click this button and it'll change this label to this is Jared or say world or hello. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This is going to be a single view application. Click next and our product name, I am just going to call mine picker, although you can call this whatever you want. And also this will like work for existing projects as well. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. And now let's make this a bit bigger. And inside of this, let's go over to our main.storyboard and we want to add our picker view onto our scene. So right down here, you will find your picker view, if I can find it. Right down here, you will have a picker view. So just click and drag that into your scene. We'll put it right up here at the top. And now, uh, when we actually were, if we were to actually build and run this, you'll notice that well, actually, there's not going to be any text right now. So you'll notice that there's not any text, so we want to populate it with text. But you'll also notice uh, later on that the text will be si off to the side. So in order to fix this, we want to add some constraints. So right-click or control-click and drag from our picker view over to just our view that you have in the background. And this is going to say equal width. And then you can also, if you have stuff down here that you don't want to touch, go to, go up here into your hierarchy and connect it to your view as well. It does the same exact thing. And we're also going to center horizontally and center it vertically. So now we have all these constraints. So if we were to build and run this, it, well, we're not populated with text, so you wouldn't notice anything. But now it's actually going to center it in the way we like it. So now let's head on over to our viewcontroller.swift. And we want to... Actually, go over to your main.storyboard, open up your assistant editor, and we want to connect our picker view over to our view controller. So we're going to insert outlet, and this outlet will just be, we'll call the name of this picker1. Connect it, and now we have our picker view. And now right click or control click and drag from our picker view again, and we want to hook it up right up to our view controller scene. And so we can set our view controller as where it's getting the data from and populating that data accordingly. So right down here, you can either hook it up here or in your hierarchy in view controller. So now it will give you this uh, selection. So you can say data source or delegate. We want to set this as the data source. And that should do it for now. So let's go ahead and close our assistant editor and head on over to our view controller .swift. Now inside of this part where it says class, view controller, UI view controller, we also want to set our view controller as a delegate or a controller for our picker. So in order to do this, you would just say UI picker view delegate. So we're setting it as the delegate. And then lastly, we want to say UI picker view data source. So this is also where we're getting the data from for our picker view. Now down here, we want to say, just type in pick and it should give you some options. We want this title for row, so picker view, title for row, and it will it wants a string to return to it. So we're grabbing a string from an array that we will create right now. So in order to create this array, let's go up here and we'll just say var array is equal to open square bracket, close square bracket, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, comma, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, and we'll just do three. So now we have three objects and we're going to name these objects accordingly. Now this will be the title that will be used for each row. So we can say the first one will just say hello world this is Jared. So now we have our array populated and now we want to take this array and put it in each title for each row. So in order to do this, it wants us to return a string. So we want to say inside of our code area, say return array, open square bracket, close square bracket, row. So where I'm getting row from is right up here. It's assigning every row that's inside of our picker view an integer. So we're taking that integer and we're going to grab an array. So this will be for our first 
our first title, our second title, and our third title. And it will populate it accordingly. Now next thing we need to do is say picker view, uh, picker view, number of rows and components. So those, if you can already tell, this is going to assign how many rows are inside of our picker view that we have. So we want to say array.count. So return array.count. And this is going, of course, to count the amount of objects that we have in here. And we're going to assign it accordingly later on. And now, last thing we need to do is fix this error that we have right here. We just want to command and click right over our UI picker view data source area. It will turn blue. Just go ahead and click on that. And it takes you over to this protocol area. Now, inside of this protocol area, we want to grab one of these functions. It's this one right here that says number of components in picker view. We want to just copy that. And we're going to go back to our viewcontroller.swift. And we're going to paste that right in there. So this is going to be, it's basically if you were working with table views, how many sections are inside of our table view. So we want to return one. We don't have any more sections, we don't have any more anything else that we need to add. Or how we don't have any more components in our picker view. So we want to return one. Now let's go back and we're gonna build and run this real quick. And as you will see, one thing, it does work to a point you will see some question marks pop up. So it's counting how many objects that are in there and it's assigning accordingly, but it's not working properly. So let's head on over to our view did load. And in order to make this work properly, we need to say picker one. So we're assigning our picker one dot delegate equal to self or self is equal to our view controller. So we're just basically assigning our view controller as the delegate for our picker one. So it's going to be able to control it. And we want to say picker view picker one dot data source equal to self as well. So again, we're setting our view controller as the data source. Now let's build and run and it should populate accordingly. So there you have it. That is how you populate your picker view. All right, now we're actually gonna make a kind of a quiz game out of this. So basically the whole main takeaway I want you to get out of this section of it is how to actually take this row itself and use it. So we're going to just click and drag a label onto our scene. And then we're also going to click and drag a button onto our scene. And we'll just put them over here. I don't wanna deal with constraints, so I'll just put them right over here so it centers it uh, kind of correctly. And now we have our label. So open up our, your assistant editor. And let's make this label a bit bigger first, like so. And we want to right click or control click and drag from our label over to our viewcontroller.swift. And we'll set the connection type uh, as an outlet. And this will just be our label. Now this label will tell us whether we are correct or wrong in an answer. Now let's go ahead, right click or control click and drag from our button. And we are going to add a function to start off. So go down here and we're going to add a action. So connection type action. And the name of this action, we'll just call this submit. Now connect. And that should be it for now. Now let's head on over to our viewcontroller.swift. And we want to add another function for our picker view. So in order to do this, you say picker view did select row and then row. So when it selected a certain row, we want to do something about that. So one thing that you'll notice inside of this picker view is that anytime it just clicks and drags and is put on to one of those scenes, that something happens. So if we, uh, just to give you an example, let's open up, let's type in nslog, open parentheses, close parentheses, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, and we're just gonna type hello. So now as you will see, nslog, now if we were to build and run this, every time our label clicks and drags on to, we'll say hello, uh, or world right down there, it adds, it calls this function right here. So it's saying we selected it. But in a quiz game or something like that, you wouldn't want that right now. You would want it to be like when they click this submit button that they want to either say it's correct or wrong. So in order to do this, we want to say, right up here, let's go ahead and create a variable. And this will just be our placement answer. So this is the temporary answer. So we're gonna say var placement answer is equal to zero. And we can say placement answer is equal to row 
down here inside of your picker view. So now we're setting this placement answer equal to whatever row is selected, as it always starts off at 0, 1, and then 2, for, even though if there's 3. So this would be 0, 1, 2. So now let's go ahead and we'll, let's, let's have something happen when we actually click this selection itself. So in order, in order to do this, let's go into our submit button that we connected up with our submit button already. And we want to say if our placement answer is equal, equal to 0, then we want that to happen. Or else if our placement answer is equal, equal to 1, then we can that have that happen. Or if it's equal to anything else, then we want this to happen. So we'll first of all we'll just say label dot text is equal to open quotation mark close quotation mark and we'll just call this hello. And then lastly uh, I mean for the second one we'll just say label label dot text is equal to world. And then if there's anything else or if it's number three number three or two, it'll say label dot text is equal to this is Jared. Now if we were to build and run this, you will see that this isn't populated, so we were going to click and drag this to world, and nothing happens, so that's good. And now we click on this button right here, and that changes this to whatever to whatever we set it in here. So that was number one, so it set it to world, and then this will be number two, or our else statement, so it'll set it to this is Jared. And then this will be number zero, so if you were to build and run that, that will be hello. So that's how you work with UI pick reviews. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this for me in the future, be sure to subscribe. If you want to help me out even further, you can go over to my Patreon page where you can pay for perks and also just help support these videos in general. You don't need to do this. I'll keep making these videos. I love making these YouTube videos and that's why I kind of want to make this my job. And if you guys can help support that even further, that'd be awesome. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.